DIY Word, Sound and Power is essentially a documentary about four independent music artists and they're all linked by this underground musical movement called Lyrics Organics uh, which gives independent artists a platform to perform, reach out, collaborate, um, find aud audiences essentially. I approached each artist individually, uh, managed to go and meet them sort of one-on-one, -on -one, uh, show them the treatment, discuss the idea in person, make sure they sort of fully understood what it was all about and thankfully they all liked the idea and were very willing to be involved and haven't identified the events each artist had coming up, uh, opportunities we had to film, it was then linking the themes and linking the questions that I wanted to address to those events um, and almost sort of playing out like a novel in my mind, uh, learned through the information they had given me and from the stuff I'd, I'd researched um, and choosing when to reveal that information uh, throughout the structure of the film. The only thing I could do is be as open and honest as possible about what I was trying to create and why I wanted to talk about certain things. I made that effort to get to know them before the filming process began so it wasn't that kind of, that initial kind of bridge had been broken, you know, they did trust me and they knew me and um, they knew my intentions. I think that was very important not to go in uh, too hard and almost be a stranger. It was um, to have that friendly approach certainly helped. Uh, and some some are more open than others so you just have you just have to work with that you're not going to change how people are this you have to remember this is real life you know this, you can't control these people they're not characters this is not just me you know i'm i'm coming in it as a filmmaker but it, uh, we're dealing with real life so i have to be wise to the fact that that initial bit of paper with my structure on is is not necessarily how it's going to end up. I have to be be able to change and shift things around and uh, make it work to what's actually going on in real life. I don't like having a large crew there, when especially when you're talking about private, personal stuff. Uh, that element of trust then breaks down more if you've got, you know, a, a a bigger ensemble around you. It's much easier for people to open up to you and for them to be themselves just one-on-one. -on -one. The key thing about this film is, is truly it's interesting to everyone and that was, that was my main consideration when planning this thing because obviously there's the music connection. So if you're, if you're into music, then the connection is obvious. You're gonna see talented musicians, you're gonna see them perform and you're gonna learn um, about the process of, of putting things together for yourself. Um, but in order to, to make it relevant to everyone, there had to be those wider themes. And thankfully, they were addressed and, and, and they're in, in there uh, structurally throughout the film. Um, really key issues surrounding education, uh, family, money, uh, social media. And the main thing which shines through is these these four individuals, um, obviously they're all connected by, by the music thing, but really what shines through is these four extraordinary personalities um, and inspirational people in their, in their self-belief, their, uh, their self-motivation in having a dream and going for it and, and, and doing it themselves. I'm very, very proud of the film. Um, it's exceeded everyone's expectations, I think. If you're doing what you want to do and you're living your dream, then what's the excess? Why worry about not having an excess of money, you know? It starts somewhere, and this is where it's starting, but it's definitely not going to finish here. Makes a change from X Factor and all the rest of it, doesn't it? This is real stuff. When you do positive things that raise the vibration, that raise the energy, that raises humanity, you can't help but feel good about it. For nearly anything in life that you want to you want to achieve, you need to create it yourself and you need to do it yourself, which is why it's DIY gang, that's what it's about. Why?